for my last one. Hey guys, so we made it to the top with the tour guide. Sab jitten. Sab Ah, sab jitten. Tukal sab jitten. Mina mina rufij le tukal sab jitten. Sab jitten. Like view. Ah, view mizia. Mizia, mizia. Jemi jitten. It was a tough one, but we got up here in like five to six hours. So we'll just chill out here for a little bit and then head back to the refuge. And I'll catch up there. Hey, what's up y'all? It's the uh, morning, the second day. We're about to get the hike back down to Inwheel. We'll take some videos on the way and see y'all at the bottom. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? We just made it back to Rabat, but we had a great time in the mountains. It was a pretty rough trail, a lot of elevation change, but 100% worth it for the beautiful views. Uh, Menton, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, it was a very unique experience, especially living in like, spending the night in the village with family in Inville, uh, staring at an Airbnb there, it was, and then going through different sort of towns to get up to the refuge, and then from the refuge going up to the summit. It was definitely worth it. I'd highly recommend it. The views were amazing. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you all for coming out and hiking with us. We hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did. David, slowly get up, like very slowly. Like you're doing conscious. This is our alleyway. Um, sometimes cats poop here. Um, they've been them over there. Oh, probably won't see them until this afternoon because they're always late. What's good, Nico? What's good, boy? How you doing, brother? I'm all right. So, I hear you're in the 491 research class here in Morocco. Yeah, that's Can true. you tell me what your topic is about? So, right now, I'm writing research on, uh, on the availability of water in Morocco and how that's going to change with climate change, um, especially the groundwater aquifers. Sometimes the groundwater aquifers will fill up with salt water, and that basically means that people aren't going to have drinking water from those areas. And I'm trying to determine the 
impact of climate change on those aquifers, specifically for Morocco. And uh, what has been a certified like Moroccan Arab experience since you've been here? Honestly, like everywhere I step, like I feel like I'm gonna step on a cat. <laughs> like that, like for real, for real. There, there's a cat everywhere. I mean, none of them are neutered, so you have a little bunch of baby cats running around over there. Uh, anything else you wanna add? Yeah, um, uh, uh, you wanna speak up? I, I'm just making noise, man. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? What's your name? Uh, then we'll give it to the next person. No, no. What's your name? Uh, I'm listening to uh, Bobby Rome, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, Bobo. It's my kid. What's your name? Oh, oh, uh, David. Ah, uh, finally. There we go. We did somewhere. So, you're studying abroad in Morocco. David, I'm Bimos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, what is your research topic on in uh, Air 491? Uh, right now, I'm researching uh, inheritance law in Egypt and looking for disparities between like the Muslim majority and the largest uh, religious minority, which would be like Coptic uh, Orthodox Christians. Um, are you a Coptic Orthodox Christian? Yeah. Uh, and what do you hope to accomplish from doing this research and writing uh, your really long paper, some like 15 pages? Uh, I really hope to accomplish uh, trying to find out exactly what those disparities are, especially what it's the difference between the written law and how it's actually carried out in practice and what the future trends are looking like in the coming years. What has been like a certified Moroccan experience that you've been? Definitely right now we have a goat in our house for Eid, so that's probably been like the most Moroccan thing we've had thus far, but yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. Okay, Timo, so mm -hmm. we're halfway through the trip. What's been your favorite moment so far? Um, um, مع البرنامج ومع الطلاب وانا احب What's your favorite thing about Rabat? Um, في Rabat uh, احب الاكل والمطاعم uh, وايضا احب ان كل شيء قريبا من uh, بيوتنا um, البحر ممكن خمس دقائق من بيتي فالجو uh, والطقس جميل جدا What's your craziest story from the summer? Crazy story. Um, so we went to a city called Buznika to go to the beach and we had to get a taxi from the train station to the beach and obviously from the beach to back to the train station once we were done. And on the way back, there were three taxis and I think they were racing each other. Um, but they were going super fast. At one point there was like one lane going that way, one way going this way. And to like avoid traffic, he like went in the opposite lane of traffic. And there was a car coming like straight at us. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna die. And so I just started laughing and enjoying it. Um, adrenaline was pumping. And then we had to like squeeze in between and we hit somebody's mirror like smacked it and then we just kept going and we ended up making it you're alive we are alive <laughs> so ella what's your favorite activity and excursion um i would say my most favorite activity was our cooking class that we did here and then excursion probably marrakesh um saw a lot of really cool animals shopped a lot um had met a lot of really nice shop owners but um loved cooking class and being able to make cool food so <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you looking forward to the most? Like what excursion so far? I am so excited for the desert. Mm -hmm. I am so nervous, but so excited to ride on the camel. Either it's gonna really hate me or really love me, <laughs> so.
film Haley's interaction with the shopkeeper uh, to show you all how we buy water every day. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Kayf al hal? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Kem durham, bishahar. Sitja, sitja, itna ashar. Itna ashar. Shukran. Shukran, masalama. Masalama.